Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here for Old to New and I've got a clean and simple retro design for you today using this Simple Flowers stamp set. These are, to me, are a real funky sort of retro style and I thought it'd be really cute to make a card in that sort of theme. And what I'm doing here is actually stamping out some of the flowers. I'm using my Misty because it gives me the chance to stamp it a couple of times on each image because they are such a solid base stamp and by stamping the inks a couple of times it just gives me a deeper color too. I'm using mostly sort of um, pinks and red shades and I'm not sh really sure where I'm going with the card at this point in time so what I decided to do was stamp out five different flowers and that gives me lots of options because I know that I'm probably going to either use three or five of them because odd numbers always look good sort of in a bouquet style. I did stamp out three leaves as well and then just fussy cut all of the images out using just some you know, fine scissors and leaving a small white border around the edge. And I simply just hold my scissors forward and turn my paper as I'm cutting and that's probably the easiest way to get a nice even edge around the images. So I'm not going to make you sit through all of this. It did take me ages to sort of work out what I was going to do, what style of bouquet I was going to do, because I was originally heading in a totally different direction with this card and ended up making it nice and clean and simple. That, that's something that I do do. I find if I'm struggling with a design or with something I had a picture, sometimes I just try and wipe my mind and start fresh with what I've got. I'm stamping out some of the stems. These stems come in the same set and I'm using some Espresso Crisp ink here and um, I have stamped out a sentiment but I don't like the colour of it but I'm just keeping it there at the moment just uh, for reference because I am going to sort of just think on that and that's another thing that I do. If, um, I'll, if I'm not sure where I'm going with something so this card just sort of came together <laughs> somehow but what I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of like I'll set it aside for a little while and focus on another thing and then in the meantime I get some great ideas <laughs> so what I did there was actually stamp out a longer stem and that was with one of the shorter ones as well and made sure that where I joined the stem it was going to end up behind one of my flowers in the front I did initially start off by stamping out this word stay from the set it's a new stamp I've never used it before I should have tested it off I should have conditioned the stamp before I used it so I decided to go in a whole different direction and just played around with the one that I'd practiced on and I'll come back and make that in a minute in the meantime I'm just going to pop up all my flowers and leaves I'm just using some foam tape that's only a millimeter thick so it's actually going to be something that posts really well if I need to And I just did double it up in a couple of spots here just to make sure that it didn't sort of sit on a weird angle just because the leaves were popped up as well. Now to work on my sentiment I am using the uppercase and the calligraphy alpha set. I have some spicy yogurt cardstock which would have to be one of my most favorite cardstocks from Alton New. It's a very heavyweight cardstock and it's got the cutest pattern and it's just off-white and I thought that would be really nice on a retro design on um, an off-white background. This is for a friend of mine who I think is a little bit retro. I know she'll love it. So these are letters are probably the easiest letters I've ever stamped out with. You know how some of them you kind of think they're very forgiving. They do, it doesn't matter if you're not in a perfectly straight line or anything and they just always look fabulous. So what I did then was cut my panel down and I can add the words your so and that's from the simple flowers stamp set as well and then once I knew where the end of that was I could cut the rest of the panel down. I want to pop this onto some dark chocolate cardstock and I'm just using my stamp runner for that and initially I have kind of placed it off to the side to make it look like it's a bit of a shadow on there but I you know like I put it on the card front because I have to put it where I stamp the other word I can't put my sentiment anywhere else so I'm going to cover that word up but it just didn't look right so um, 
the good thing about the stamp runner is it's also forgiving so I can actually just um, pull my cardstock apart and re-adhere it down and just after a little, little bit of time it actually will become strong have a stronger bond and it won't, definitely won't come apart it's a very strong adhesive it just gives you that bit of time I've used some black foam squares on the back of my sentiment panel and then I can just pop that up on the front of the card as a final touch I did decide to add some sequins now these are like they're kind of like a wood veneer look they're not actually wood they are plastic and there are a couple of different colors I just used some matte medium and my tweezers to add them to my card front so that's my finished card for today thanks for joining me I'll be back again real soon till next time happy paper crafting bye